So this is my basement. It is ultimately functional, practical, uh, pragmatic. It's in my house, obviously. Um, but the problem is it looks terrible. It's very gross to look at when it's just by itself. Like, look at all this crusty gross stuff. So I need to make it look better. Um, and I'm going to put, uh, I'm gonna put some lipstick on this pig and I'm just gonna paint and clean. Hey, if you're new here, uh, I'm Jeremy. I make videos about guitars and how to find the right guitar for you. Uh, but if you just wanna see a cool rehab from a gross basement into a clean and good looking basement, check out this video. Think about subscribing. All right. I use this space because it's cool. I like it. It's really easy to just have stuff at my house instead of having to go. In the past, I've had offices or I had a guitar shop and I had to leave my family and I had to go places. Let me show you around what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna sweep, and I'm just gonna make it look better. And I'm gonna do some, uh, to do something about the noise, which usually I don't film while my kids are running around, but every now and then, you know, if you feel like you're in Jurassic Park and you see my water start bouncing like there are dinosaurs impending, that's just three little kids running around just directly above my head right here. Ow, there's a nail sticking on the ceiling. I just poke my finger on. Okay, anyway, uh, time to clean up, get everything ready, cleared out. Let's do it. So here's the basement itself. You come down in the basement, and then here there are boxes, like there are always boxes uh, that are just coming from stuff shipping. There's more boxes over here, and there's more stuff I've meant to do something with. Over here's where I store pedals and stuff. It's not particularly clean, but it works really well. Uh, here's where I just get distracted and I set stuff up and I just play stuff on the weekends. This is one of my kids guitars. Um, a little Strat there, a mini Strat. Uh, more boxes, cases are back there in the corner. Uh, all in here, these are tools and then pedals up here and my wolf lamp. I wanna find a place to put old wolf lamp. And then over here, so this is a place where you normally see me. And isn't it terrible? Look how ugly this is. It's just super gross down there. This is my desk. I really like this, but I'd like to do something with that wall behind it. <laughs> There's our, uh, that's our kitchen drain that uh, runs that through there. Um, and then these doors, both, um, they're just leaned up against the wall. Uh, so there's a whole separate space back here. This is the guitars. And then if you go back here, so around here is just wood storage and um, really blank space. In here, these are a bunch of the amps. I have more tube amps right now than I've ever owned in my life. Um, these two belong to Elliot. They're gonna go back to him soon. This one I'm selling for my friend Mike. This one I'm gonna keep. Uh, it's a 47 Valco, love that amp. This is a Gibsonette, this is my friend Mike's. I grew up learning a terrible lesson, which is that all flat spaces can be storage if you believe in yourself and you just put stuff on. So I really, it drives me crazy. Like I have flat stuff on all this surface back here too. And so on my shelves, I just have to clean everything out, get it cleaned up, painted, looking good. Cause man, I'm just, I'm tired of having stuff to move everywhere. And I, you know, really, I mean, this is the main thing. I just can't stand how this wall looks. I just have to change it. I have to make it look better. And, uh, and you can hear the running. Boom, 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 boom. So yeah, let's try and do something. All right, so I've taken everything out of here. Um, so this is where my desk sits. It's pretty gross, pretty dingy. And then this wall is gross. So there are a couple things that make this space not great. Concrete wall, concrete floors makes it hard for noise. The floor with my kids up above, that's hard for noise. So the other thing is that it is tricky because the ceiling is so low. Like I'm not that tall, I'm not tall at all, I'm 5'9". And so it's like six and a half feet, basically. So it makes like all of my lights, uh, they have to be pretty low to the ground. And that's why if you really are dorky about photography, that's why, I, so this light I have 
over right there. Um, so my big good studio light doesn't work. I didn't. I couldn't get the big. Um, I couldn't get the big light box on it because it's just not enough space. I won't make videos down here forever, but I want to make it passable for the next couple months because I do have a plan. Uh, I'll tell you about it when we get closer to it. Um, but I think I've got a good plan for a cool space that'll make it to where my videos will just be better all the time. The video will be better, the sound will be better. I can be louder without having to be so tied to my kids' schedule. I can do, it will be close, but not in the house. So this is where the boiler used to be. And I, believe it or not, I've hit my head on this thing so many times, it drives me crazy. Um, this is our old chimney that doesn't even work. We don't even have a chimney in the house anymore. But this space just needs to get cleaned, tidied. So I'm gonna sweep first. I'm gonna sweep the walls because there's a bunch of dust. I'm gonna vacuum some stuff, sweep the floors, and then I will get to painting. So this house is uh, it'll be 100 years old next year. The guy that owned it before us, um, he did small engine repair in the basement. That's why it's so kind of smoky and dusty. Um, but this is pretty cool, huh? So he has like the phone number, which that's an old Harrisonburg exchange, A67. Oh my gosh, it's almost kind of close to 5309. Can't remember which filters. Maybe that, that probably went to the furnace that was here and then went in there, but yeah. Anyway, it already looks way better. Bright white, looks good. Hasn't been too long. All right, let's keep going. So it's been a while. So I finished painting the other day and then I just took a couple days off to get other videos done and do other stuff. Um, I got a new dehumidifier because one of the problems in this basement is humidity and my old dehumidifier didn't stop totally working but it got to where I couldn't really keep humidity below like 60% and that was psyching me out. So de new dehumidifier, the downside is that it's made it pretty hot down here but Anyway, so now I've got a sweep. I'm gonna put the guitar hanger back up. I wanna change up this wall. I wanna put some shelves and some cool stuff on it. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I just wanted to make it more appealing. I also, that water line coming through, I want to either paint it black. I also have these acoustic blankets that I still need to put up. I just want the whole scene to be better to look at, better lighting, better sound. Um, so sweep, uh, put that thing up and put a rug down because that kills a bunch of noise on the ground and then I'll try and do the things up top so that way I can uh, stop the because you can hear them even now you can hear my kids during the day if I'm filming anything but uh, it's pretty fun and so far it's cost me nothing no it cost me like eight bucks for the roller and the I bought just one of those kits um, so anyway let's do it pretty good I like this setup a lot um, it feels a bit like a flex I want to be careful with not like showing all the stuff because even a chunk of this stuff still isn't mine like uh, one two those two amps on the end aren't mine 
uh, that amp on the other end, the Gibsonette over here, that isn't mine. These in the middle, and then I have one more. I think I have one more. My Tone Master Deluxe is out in the car. Uh, a friend bought it, and he actually let me borrow his 68 Deluxe. Over here, this is where my desk normally sits. You don't see it on camera. Occasionally I'll do this shot, but there's two big chunks missing in the wall. Um, I don't feel like buying plywood. I also don't like that wall. I don't know. Um, but over here, I, I want to put my desk, but the problem is, and I mentioned this before, I just developed a really bad habit, which is treating flat spaces like storage spaces. And so I'm nervous to have a big flat desk uh, because big flat desk typically means that I put stuff on it. <sighs> I think it's time to put that desk in here. All right, so here is the new space. So I don't totally know what to do with this desk yet. I'll figure that out soon. Check this thing out. This is my first camera. This is the camera that we would just film every dumb idea that we had. And then check this out. Wolf lamp lives. So, and then here's some pedals. And I'll be using these, this guy later uh, in a shootout. Here's my camera lenses and all my camera stuff is on this shelf. So this is one of my favorite lenses. So this is a Lumix. This is an old macro lens. Some of the coolest, those super close shots I get on guitars and gear, that comes from this lens. I love using old vintage lenses. This is another, this is a Helios lens. This is a Helios 44-2. That's a really old lens. It's actually, it's a German design that uh, during the Cold War, the Russians in West Germany started using those. They, started, they built millions of them. H5 recorder. That's my 85. This is a great lens back there. My 7200 f2.8. That's a great lens for really smooth, blurry backgrounds. Down here are boxes for pedals. And hey, there's some stuff from the Pickers Grip boys. So hey, Billy. Hope you're doing well, man. Uh, so here's all of my tools for kind of working on guitars and then just my random box of stuff. Uh, so yeah, tons of just scrappy stuff over here. Uh, I decided to leave this wall clean. And you come in here. So there's the HD28 I just found. Uh, got a great deal on that. Love that guitar. It's such an incredible story. If you haven't seen the video on that, which it just the day I'm filming it just came out today. Um, it's a really amazing guitar. So in here... Tone Master Deluxe, this is my friend Ryan's uh, 68 Deluxe Reverb Reissue. My PV from the boys down in Mississippi. Uh, yeah, I love that amp. Uh, this guild is such a cool thing. So I guess it's a 5v3 masquerading as a guild. Rude Guitar, Rude Guitar, uh, 85 Pink Paisley Telly, uh, 2003 Squire, uh, Tom DeLonge Strat that every piece and part's been changed. Here's my pedal board, here's an old BR9, there's my Valco, there's Elliot's Princeton clone, uh, here are cases, and there's my J45, and I've left this bench open. So yeah, overall the space just looks a whole lot better, it functions a lot better, um, I feel better about having stuff out and around. Over here, I've decided I'm going to put my workbench, um, and I'm going to use it as my editing station. And, but it forces me with a smaller tabletop, it forces me to keep it clean, keep it tidy, only pull the things I need. I've planned for this shelf over here that I just showed you. I want that to be the place where I keep all of my stuff for setups and my tools, uh, and then also pedals and cables and stuff. When I need them, I can pull them out, and when I'm done with them, I can put them back. So it leaves everything clean and tidy. This is something new for me. I'm not a particularly organized person, but I, I want to make the absolute best videos I can. Uh, in order to do that, I also have very limited time, and so I have to be able to pump up efficiency and just make it to where I don't have to think so hard or work so hard to get things ready to go. Um, here's a fun, dumb Easter egg. When I watch some of my old videos, so there used to be another wall in this basement, and there are certain videos. I won't tell you which ones, and I don't even really want you to find them. But there are several videos in which there's just a stray roll of toilet paper 
on the ground on the floor behind me. That's pretty embarrassing once I noticed it. And uh, I just didn't say anything and no one ever noticed. It's been like a year and a half since there's like, since those two or three videos. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Jeremy, I'm the Guitar Hunter. I hope you find badass guitars and gear. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you just jumped in and you've never seen one of my videos, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I make videos every week that help people find cool guitars and gear. If that's something you're into, subscribe. Um, and if you're here just because you wanted to see a YouTube studio in a basement, glad you're here. Hope this was helpful. If you want to support the channel, the best way to do that, buy a t-shirt. Super comfortable, super soft. The other ways you can become a patron if you want. Patreon.com slash Guitar Hunter. Uh, I put videos up there early. I get Q&As. Uh, there's a couple cool benefits you get just from being a, being a patron and it just makes me able to make more videos. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.